The Earth says, Cool the climate, please. Peep, in this heat, I just want a nap. That typing is keeping me up. Would you please just fly away? Bob, I'm online, and I've discovered that this heat is too much. I'm feeling like a fried chicken. Suzanne, uh, this heat really could cook us. It's called global warming. Simon, wake up. Mm. Do you see our mountain, M- Mount Kilimanjaro? Peep. I'm napping. Yes, we're napping. Wake up! Global warming is why it's getting so hot. It's even melting the snow on our mountain. Check this out. Uh, Look, Simon, this was taken when you were just a baby hippo. Do you see how much snow there was on the mountain? I don't remember all that snow. That's because you were a baby. Now look at the snow a few years later when you were a kid hippo. There's less. And today, when you're a full-grown hippo. There's not much at all now. Can we get back to that nap? Silence! You two, what Peep is saying is important. I've heard about global warming, and it feels and looks like it's changing our climate. But so what? Weather changes all the time. We go see what? I think it's time we learn about this climate change. Well, have fun. I'll be napping over... Hey! Oh, no, Bob. You come, too. This is important for all of us. Simon, to the mountain. Well, if I can't nap... I'll snack. Rodent, don't litter. Hmm. Crunchy and chocolatey. Bob, if everyone in the world threw their garbage on the ground like you, what would happen? We'd never have to take out the garbage. I use my magic and show you. Uh Uh-oh. I can't breathe. You see, we would all drown in trash if we acted like you. There are consequences to our actions, Bob. Now get your wrapper. You guys are so serious. Ugh. Ugh. We're not taking the car? Bob, cars are global warming machines. They're one of the toxic little beasts causing our mountain to melt. So we go the green way by hippo. But Simon's red. You'll learn, Bob. You'll learn. The snows of Kilimanjaro, the snows of Kilimanjaro, the snows of Kilimanjaro, will they still be here tomorrow? I've always been an optimist, but according to the scientist, by 2030 they won't exist. A simple fact we can't dismiss They're melting down as fossil fuels burn up People buy big cars saying fill her up All these pollutants go in the atmosphere The earth heats up and the snows just disappear The snows of Kilimanjaro The snows of Kilimanjaro The snows of Kilimanjaro Can we save them for tomorrow? Oh, look what the warming does to our earth. Bigger storms melting ice could make a worldwide dearth of things we have today. In balance everywhere, let's stop global warming and show we really care. Make 
every day in Earth Day. Renewable energies are the way to make a better tomorrow and save the snows of Kilimanjaro. Phew, it's hot. You know, if we had taken the car, we'd have air conditioning. Bob, to save our planet, we have to make small sacrifices. Okay. Then make a small sacrifice and fan me. That's it. Let me at him. Oh, no. Uh, Boys, I, I order. don't make me pull over and stop this hippo. Stopping. What a good idea. Now it's my turn to snack. Mm. Oh, now we'll be here forever. We should have taken the car. Bob. If we'd taken the car, we'd be stopping for gas, which comes from fossil fuels. They are no good. Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs and plants died, their remains, over time, turned to oil, which we now pump from the ground. Burning this oil creates power for our cows, our plants, and planes. But it also creates a gas called carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is very sneaky. They let sunbeams in. Greetings, sunbeams. Welcome to planet Earth. Thank you. What a nice, friendly planet. La, 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 la. Okay, let's go home now. But they trapped some of their heat on the way out. <laughs> We've got you surrounded. You can't escape. Ah! We're trapped. We've been tricked. Trapping heat like this is called the greenhouse effect. So much is getting trapped now that it can't help but warm the whole planet or create what's called global warming. <laughs> it's hot. Those carbon dioxides are nasty. <clears throat> Ugh, talk about nasty. My bad. You know, Simon, you create... Nasty gas, too. I'll say, what's worse than a hippo fart? No, I'm talking about methane. It comes from poop and traps the heat, too. But it doesn't have to. That's powerful stuff. It certainly is. But this powerful stuff is what's called a renewable energy. Gimme guitar. The power of poop. The power of poop. The power of poop, 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 poop. A cuckoo bird without a clock. Then let's buy a clock. A biofuel, a living fuel. We can make energy from smelly stool. Methane is another sneaky greenhouse gas. And it's a big part of poop. A little poop, no big deal. But at huge animal farms, watch out. The United States, for example, has over 100 million cattle. When they poop, <laughs> fart, and burp, a lot of methane goes up, up, and up. But we can stop these sinister little fellows from cooking our planet. Ah! The methane from poop can be converted into electricity. Okay, methane. Now you're surrounded. Get to work. Ah! Now we've been trapped. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ow. This poop could power 7 million homes. But until we start really using this power, it's better to eat less dairy or meat and not create bad methane in the first place. Hamburger? Thanks, but can I have the veggie burger, please? That sounds good. Can I have one, too? Sure, that'll help stop climate change. We must do something about the power of poop. The power of poop. The power of poop, 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 poop. Bob, wake up! Uh, as I was saying before I was rudely taken on this journey, I prefer the power of naps. The power of... Hey! This is important, wise guy. Oh, come on. If those carbons and methanes make a warm day like this, you gotta admit, it's kinda nice. That's right. You tell her, Bob. All your global warming talk. It's just a lot of hot air. <laughs> hey! Global warming? Hot air? What a clever play on words. 
Look, a farmer. Zimba zenyu zaparara here. Famu yangu. Use your magic, Suzanne, so we can talk. Have you lost your homes too? My farm is ruined. Lost our homes? Isn't that why you are here? The dry river. <gasps> oh my goodness. Even the glacier on Kilimanjaro is disappearing. It's worse than I thought. Global warming is causing a harmful climate change. A significant change in weather over time. You know, climate change is hurting people in other climates too. Here in India, we could lose up to half of our rice this century. But we eat rice all the time. Yes, and so do over 3 billion people around the world. From wildfires to drought, climate change is really hurting us in California. Scientists say it could even collapse a lot of our farms. Where would we get our avocados, nuts and oranges? In England, freak storms are causing major floods and waterborne diseases. Oh, good heavens! Toodaloo! In France, le climate change is changing my wine and cheese and also creating heat waves and heat strokes. Oh, <laughs> la la! And in Italy, we even have troubles growing wheat and tomatoes for our pasta. Mmm, buono. So, do you see? Our dry river is part of a global problem. Yes, do you see now, Bob? This climate change is not a nice. It hurts the peoples and us animals, too. They probably just ate a bad piece of chicken or something. Can we go home now? Farewell, my friends. Bob, what's your problem? I don't have a problem. Well, you might, Bob, if our lake runs out of water. Oh, please. Our lake's got plenty of water. Consequences, Bob. Remember your rapper? One thing affects another. Look at this cartoon on coolthclimate.com. Help! Uh, help! Oh, phew. I made it. I made it. Who said that? It's me, Joey Plankton. Move over, sister. I need sunshine and ice to make photosynthesis. And I need plankton for fish food. Dude, you are so uncool. Mmm. Well, if you ask me, fish make the best food. Wait, go veggie! Mmm, sushi. Hey, do you know why I need ice? Why? So I can hunt seals! Did she catch the seal? Bob, th that's besides the point. Without that one sheet of ice, that polar bear could have drowned. That plankton couldn't conduct photosynthesis. That fish couldn't have eaten the plankton. You see, each of us animals, more so than people, is a link in the food chain. Food chain? A and it looks like climate change could be breaking the food chain. Suzanne, this is just getting so over my head. You mean now it's so over your head. <laughs> Look! Hey, I get it now. Give me the guitar. Sing it! I eat you, you eat me. The circle of life and harmony. The food chain, the food chain, the food chain. Do 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 do. But now we've got climate change. Breaking the links in our chain. Throughout the world, it's getting hot. Africa, the Arctic, here are more hot spots. Antarctica, where's the krill? America, I'm pollinating. Australia, eucalyptus, please. Do, 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 do. Even in the oceans, we're feeling the heat. If you die, we, what will we eat? Hey, that goes for us fish, too. Wait, we humans depend on you. To avoid the pain, we better be human. Protect, protect, protect that food, food chain. Because I like to eat fish. I prefer them in my fish tank. So, you're saying, if global warming grows, we can all fall like dominoes. Yes, so stop it if you want to stay alive. Oh, I don't buy this. Why? Because rats will always survive. 
Bob, how selfish can you be? Very selfish. That's why we rats can survive anything. We look out for ourselves. Now, speaking of me, I could use a nice tea. It's hot out here. Has anyone seen a waiter? Waiter, stop this silliness. Sorry, sir, no iced tea. But we carbons can bring more hot days for you. Suzanne, why not just snap and make these carbons and hot days go away? Because magic can't stop climate change, Bob. But our choices can. Listen to this. On average, we each add 20 tons of carbon dioxide to the air each year. 20 tons? What's 20 tons? Well, I weigh... two tons? That's ten Simons! Each of us makes carbon the size of ten hippos each year. Suzanne, you've made your point. This carbon's crushing me. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, you okay? I'm sorry. Ha ha ha. You see, carbon dioxide really could crush you. Here, let me show you something. What, what the? Looks like a big foot. Uh-oh. Not again. Hey! hey! It's your carbon footprint. Oh, Ow. So dizzy. Hey, mister, that was not nice. I could do far worse. Now move aside. This is no way to talk to a lady. That 20-ton average comes from all your travel, recreation, food, home, education, clothing. You average so much carbon dioxide that unless you change your ways, I could turn this planet to toast. Can I have your purse? Why? Music. I'd rather just tune out. Bob, we can't turn away from this problem. Do, 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 do. I should drop 20 tons of rats on you. I'd relish this. Uh, do it one by one, or ton by ton. Wait, hold on, Peep. That's the way to cool the climate. One by one, ton by ton. Yes. What are you guys talking about? To reverse climate change. Uh, hold that thought. Here, make yourself useful. One by one. Ton by ton. We can stop the carbon? One by one. But how? With energy-saving LED bulbs. Eight bulbs keeps out a ton. Of carbon from the air each year. So now we subtract one? One by one. Ton by ton. We can stop the carbon. And methane. One, one by, by one. one. Catch! It was nice playing with you guys, but it's gonna take more than a light bulb to stop me. Twenty's your average, but look at what each of you creates. We're taking over this planet, and we dare you to try and stop us! Yeah! yeah. Uh, uh, wait, uh, did you just dare me peep the bird? Uh, come on, everybody, we have work to do. Can you grab my laptop? Wait, don't leave! Bob, come on! This means you too! Ah. We're gonna stop you. Watch and see. You carbon blobs are history. With your carbon footprints, aren't you scared? With our friend methane, we now double dare. Oh, we are gonna so burst your bubbles. Uh, okay, so to get rid of these guys, uh, we just need to follow these steps on coolthclimate.com. You can't stop us. Look, we're everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Aha, uh -huh. we're taking over this planet. Who are you? Boo. Ah! <gasps> Heather. Oh, hey, wow. Simon, what are these blobby things? They're your carbon footprints. Not for long. Go green with us, Heather. You too, Chiquita. The name is Angela. People of the world, uh, let us not warm the climate. Let us cool the climate. Mm -hmm. Come on, join us. Let's start with LEDs, eco and recycled products, which save energy, helping to stop climate change and animals from extinction. 
But Suzanne, I am a vulture. I like dead animals. Hector, we don't waste. We can't eat everybody at once. We buy recycled. Reusable bags. Get that rake. A bin. Worms. Worms? worms? Yes, worms. You'll see. Ready, everyone? Let's block them. Don't let them out. You can't stop us. Let's go. No! Yeah. Hey, wait for me. Last, but certainly not least. <laughs> Simon, you're my eco hero. <laughs> Wait up. Uh, yeah, Bob, to be green, uh, you're gonna have to think all the time about how you eat, buy, and live. Really? And wouldn't you rather just be that lazy rat I know and love? Of course. Uh, okay, so our next step is to give up. I don't want to have to think about carbon dioxide all the time. Bob, remember consequences? I show you. The future, if we don't act responsibly. It's like a desert. My friends, Africa is the least responsible for climate change. But now, in 2100, it is suffering the most. Climate change has caused many deaths from diseases, droughts, and heat waves. Creepy. And in Europe. Double creepy. And in America, too. Triple creepy. Look at Peep. Ugh. And Bob. Wah! Sorry, Bob, but I'm afraid we've also lost one in two species to animal extinction. Look at me! Quadruple, Quadruple creepy. creepy. But I don't want to be creepy. <laughs> then will you help every day to save the climate? <laughs> yes. Good. Just make the following little everyday choices so that one by one, ton by ton, we can stop the carbon one by one. Peep. Reduce what you use. I'm not watching TV. And I only need one light. Can you hit that switch? You see? Good everyday choices. <coughs> Angela? Reuse to cut waste. I'll pack my lunch in reusable containers. So now my lunchbox is waste free. Good, because in the US, for example, lunchbox waste is over one and a half billion pounds every year. <coughs> and there's a third R2. Recycle what you can. H Happy birthday, Chiquita. Thank you, but the name is Angela. Reuse the ribbon and recycle the box. My present! It's the thought that counts. Bob, keep playing. So, reduce, reuse, recycle. We'll save lots of energy. <clears throat> if we buy with Energy Star, it helps us save you money. An Energy Star home saves around $700 a year in energy bills. And they reduce six tons of carbon. Oof, 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 and keep the fridge closed. Hey! Dry your clothes in the sun and subtract one. Oof. So let's use the greatest Energy Star of all. One by one. Ton by ton. We're stopping carbon one by one. Oof, oof. Why don't you buy an electric car? Or hydrogen. No gas and save money. Oof, oof, oof. I commute by taking the bus. Oof, oof, oof. I bike and it's carbon free. Oof, oof, oof. One by one, ton by ton. Don't forget the methane. Everyone. Uh. So tonight, no meat, Greek salad. Let's buy what's locally grown. And after dinner, we cut methane. With the compost set up at home. Food scraps. 
Now this is for you. Ugh. Worm poop. Plant a garden and use it as fertilizer. A great idea. Look, Angela, no food miles. It's okay, Peep. You can call me Chiquita. Suzanne, uh, no cheating. I'm sorry. Let's plant a tree, too. Cool, because one tree removes one carbon ton. They're stopping us. No. One by one, ton by ton. Let us cut your big thing. We'll make it fun. Hey, I, I think cutting this carbon is fun, too. Fun like a game, boys. And this girl is winning. Don't count out the rat. I can buy green power now. I thought you liked me, Bob. No. And for other homes, uh, you can use solar panels to make green power and sell what you don't use. Not so fast. There's some of us left. We've reduced the carbon we can, and Smarty Pants Suzanne wins. Ugh. No, we win, because we're still a climate change threat. Yes. yes! There must be something we can do. Let's, Let's buy a carbon, carbon offset. offset, so we can all win. What? Wait, stop everything. Carbon offset? What on earth is a carbon offset? It's easy, Bob. A tree can absorb up to a ton of carbon in its life, right? Okay. Well, when you buy a carbon offset, you can pay to have lots of trees planted, like in a jungle in South America. These trees absorb the rest of your carbon footprints. And if you offset more than your share, then you help cool the climate. I can hit up my parents for the eco products, but this all costs money. Then we do bake sale for climate change. To pay for offsetting and cooling. D don't breathe on the cupcakes. Uh, please, uh, back, back it up. <laughs> animals, you're all just animals. Yay! Everyone loves my cooking. You come to coolthclimate.com to use my recipe for your Cool the Climate bake sale. Hey, pay up! We've made some real cash. So we can be... Uh, ah! Carbon free! Now we're through, but there's more to do. To cool the climate, we need help from you. That sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> and now, come to coolthclimate.com. We'll help you calculate and get rid of your carbon footprints and play games on the site that save actual square feet of jungle to protect the climate and animal habitats on our mother earth. We love you too and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.